Let's go live to Paris and Ola Chenoui, who is there for us. Ola, what is the support like for Froome then in Paris? Fantastic support for Chris Froome here on the Champs Elysees. British fans, South African fans. I think it's fair to say as well that Chris Froome has really won over the French fans too. Both of them, his riding style, his attacking nature on the bike, the fact that he's fought really hard to win this Tour de France, but also his demeanour off the bike. It always helps when riders speak French as well. They do like a little bit of a Francophile riders. But if I ask the cameraman, Jamie, just have a little look along the Champs Elysees, you should be able to see. The uh, British flags there, English flags, Team Sky flags, a few South African ones in there as well. Reminiscent, really, of last year along the Champs-Élysées when we saw the same kinds of support for Bradley Wiggins. So we will be seeing a reception fit for a Tour de France winner here today. I think it's safe to say my colleague Jeremy Langdon has been chatting to some of the fans who've made their way here to Paris for Chris Froome. We're actually on the Place de la Concorde, which is part of the route for the laps tonight. Remember, it's a night finish for the first time. It's full of British fans like these guys. Where have you come from? From Wales. And you've been down here for how long exactly? Well, we came uh, last weekend. We've been at the Alpe d'Huez to see the big stage there, do some mountain biking because that's what we do mostly. Um, we just stayed in a chalet there, mountain biking, waited on the course for the stage on Thursday, which was terrific. And you're here to see history, another British Tour de France champion. How does Froome compare with Wiggins for you? Um, well, I think it's just great to see him get his just rewards for the efforts he put in last year, really. I think most Brits that I've spoken to feel the same way, that um, you know, he sacrificed everything last year, so it's nice to see him get in a bit of uh, glory himself. Bit of a quiet hero, isn't he, really? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Is there room for Froome and Wiggins, do you think, they're on the same Team Sky team now? I think so. It'll make it interesting next year, just a bit of competition in the team. Egg each other on, really. Yeah, definitely. And Froome's only 28, so in theory, there could be a few more of these wins here, couldn't there? I think so, yeah. He's, he's going for Armstrong's record, so just sort of negate that. We'll talk any further, I don't think. What about the start in Yorkshire uh, next uh, year? You looking forward to that? Definitely. Just spot, <laughs> spot for choice where to watch it. <laughs> so, yeah, right on the back doorstep, going to be brilliant. And there's a, a night finish here tonight for the first time. How much are you looking forward to that? Um, it'll be different. It'll be good. But uh, I don't know if I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just valuable drinking time to celebrate Vic Froome's good win. Are you going to bag this spot for the next sort of seven or eight hours here and keep it? Uh, well, we're actually doing the, uh, the random A, you know, riding around the, the route and all in the yellow. I think it's about 10,000 riders doing it. Yeah, so that's what we're doing. So bagging in a spot back here on the line would be difficult to think at that time. But we'll find some mostly hitting yeah. the bar, I think. I just finally word of Mark Cavendish going for his fifth stage win here tonight. Is he going to do that? Yeah, no doubt. So Definitely. So. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. We're here two years ago to see it, so hopefully we'll see it again. He likes it here, doesn't he? Yeah, the only answer to that is yes. <laughs> <laughs> OK, they all predict a Mark Cavendish win, and it's going to be Chris Froome in yellow later on. Back to you. <laughs> Well, every year we really are seeing more and more British fans along the roads of France. They've really taken this event to their hearts and it's not difficult to see why there's been plenty to cheer for over the last couple of years. And as Jeremy said, they'll be hoping for more to cheer again this evening as Mark Cavendish goes for a record five stage wins in a row here on the Champs-Élysées. It is the big one for the sprinters. He'll be hoping to put smiles on the faces of all the British fans here. Whatever happens, though, we are certainly sure of a spectacular evening here in Paris. Indeed we are. Ola, thank you very much.